Oh, I kind of look like Jack Nicholson. If you point that camera at my kid's face again. Hey friends. Welcome back to another episode of How to Not, where I try really hard to do something that I'm just not good at. As you guys know, I love doing makeup tutorials based in different decades. You've probably seen a couple of them. And as I was looking at my own natural wave pattern of my hair and realizing that it kind of looked like 1920s finger waves, I was like, you know, I've always wanted to do like a 1920s tutorial. But the thing is, they all have these little thin eyebrows. And I feel like if I did the tutorial, I would need to block out my eyebrows, which I suck at. So instead of doing like a if beauty YouTubers existed in 1927, tutorial like I normally would. I was like, I have a feeling this is gonna be perfect for the How to Not series, because I think I'm gonna fail at this. We'll see, friends. My mirror has YouTube on it, so I'm gonna try and like follow along a tutorial with how to delete my eyebrows. I don't know. I got a brand new glow stick. I recently found a channel called It's Likely Makeup. This girl is an amazing makeup artist, and she goes pretty in-depth on how to cover your eyebrows, so <sighs> let's try her tutorial. Taking a purple Elmer's glue stick, and first of all, I'm just gonna go back and forth and I'm gonna put in like a lot of glue. <sighs> okay, kids. Oh, here goes nothing. I waxed him for you earlier today too because I knew I was gonna be doing this. Are you like good to go or do you need to be prepped? I immediately regret this decision. <gasps> Ew. I'm done. Do you love it? What the heck? How come mine is all crazy purple and hers isn't? Well, I suddenly realize I need to trim my eyebrow hairs. Who thought of this technique, honestly? My eyebrow hair is so coarse, it's like leaving gouges in this glue. <laughs> oh, I kinda look like Jack Nicholson. If you point that camera at my kid's face again. And then she does several more layers of this. I don't even know how I'm gonna do more layers. It's like cake, ball city. <laughs> this time, just going straight on. Do we spool? Oh, do we spool it again? This is definitely a technique that I have not mastered. Watch. Oh, great. <laughs> It didn't work. The more layers I did, the more lumpy it got, and I just don't know what happened. I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. Pfft. Ew. I feel like if my memory serves me correctly, I attempted this during the 2004 Beauty Guru video, and I uh, gave up and just like covered my eyebrows with Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse. I feel like the front half is okay, but this is just truly heinous. Steve. Steve! It's starting to hurt. I had a white bee. <sighs> I might just have to accept that today is not gonna be a great brow cover day. Same. Thought I didn't have a stick foundation and then look what I found. Me X Factor Pan Stick. I didn't even know I kept this. <gasps> oh no, oh no. It worked in one area right here where I actually only had one layer of glue on. I'm just gonna keep doing it, doing it, and doing it, and doing it. How the heck did she do that? It's so smooth. I followed it exactly and failed in that, my friends. It's a story in my life. I'm just trying to look like a flapper. Is that too much to ask? So I also found this really cool YouTube channel called Glamour Days, I think it's called. I don't know, I'll put a photo of it right here. The woman who like runs this YouTube channel, finds like real vintage footage and I guess remasters it. I actually don't know if she does it herself. It seems like she does though. And adds color and stuff to it and I watched some videos of hers from the 20s in color, like in 4K. <laughs> and I was just amazed, you know, soups inspired. Okay, now I wanna look at an actual 1920s like beauty routine, even though I look good enough right now. But this tutorial, this flapper makeup routine, by Colleen Moore in 1923. It's inspiring me, kids. Oh wait, what's this? Is this like a 1920s commercial right smack in the middle of this video? Let's watch it. Hi, I'm Sissy Starlet, here to introduce to you the best new way to instantly add convenience and ease to your beauty routine. Ladies and gentlemen, the Rendezvous collection from Sigma Beauty, a makeup collection that definitely exists right now in the 20s. 
Gone are the days of ankle-length dresses, corsets, hair below the collarbone, and working all day in the kitchen as a housewife. We have jobs now, and we can apply makeup with more than just our fingers. Simply use any of these beautiful rose gold brushes to apply your rouge with ease. Look at it. Look at it sparkle. Gee. <laughs> the F80 brush will be your favorite new way to apply your cream base. Gee, I, I've never looked better. Lavish your lips with luxurious color with three beautiful glosses and a dazzling beauty bag. I'm ready to head to the speakeasy and dance and not drink any alcohol. All Sigma brushes come with a two-year warranty and are vegan and cruelty-free. And if you're wondering what vegan means, since you've definitely never heard that word before, it means absolutely no animal byproducts can be found in any of Sigma's brushes. This collection is limited edition, so grab it while you can before the men return home from war and beg us to quit our jobs so that we can rely on them financially again. Sigma Beauty for the Modern Woman. Thank you, Sigma, for sponsoring a portion of today's video. Oh my god, I can't believe Sigma existed back then. <laughs> Okay, so it's looking like their eyeshadow wasn't too intense back then. Let's try the E38 here and in this beautiful color here called Trist. Trist. I don't know how to pronounce it. I really don't think they did any like cool techniques with their shadow like people do now. So I'm just gonna kind of put it all over the lid. Oh my gosh, this shadow is so smooth. It does look like they went pretty heavy on the eyeliner in the 20s, so I'm gonna pack on some of the Wicked Gel Liner. Go away from my window. Looking like they went all the way across the eye, which you guys know I love. This is kind of looking like the 2004 makeup video. Oh, it just fell in my eye. So now with the E32, I'm gonna smudge that black a little bit. Hey, I like smudging. I don't do this technique very often, but it's kind of fun. All right, let's get some mascara on before I uh, hide from myself. All right, let's do the cheeks. Put a little, 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 little life back into this face now, you see? Oh my God, this is so beautiful. The blush is called Cor, Cor de Rosa. This blush is super pigmented. I'm gonna swirl some of it on my hand. Looks like they did a lot of blush back, I mean rouge. 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 <coughs> Inhaled it a little. I'm not seeing any bronzer on their faces, guys. Just blush. I wish they wore highlighter in the 20s. Oh my gosh, I want to use this so bad. So bad. <gasps> you know what? I'm just gonna take a liberty and just do it. This is how to not look like you're from the 20s, right? So I can do what I want. Oh yes, oh God. Imagine if I put it right here, right here. Okay, let's get these eyebrows on. You know what I actually feel like I should do is like paint them on? I feel like if I take like a brow pencil, I'm just gonna dig. I mean, they look like garbage anyway, but I don't wanna mess up like the glue situation. So I just wanna take a real gentle brush and just like, I found this Wet n Wild palette from like last year or something. I, it has two browns I can mix like as a brow color. I'm just gonna thin it out a little with some Dura line and hopefully make a nice fluid line or fail miserably. Hers are just like straight lines, but a lot of them I've seen are like angled weird. I think I wanna do the weird angled ones. I think I wanna do those ones. It's not even dark enough. I should have just done the dark brown color, I guess. Tell my ma when I go home, the boys won't leave the girls alone. They pull my hair and they steal my comb. Kind of look like Betty Boop, but you know, not. They're completely crooked, but that's how things go at the French household. Let's take these off for a second. I feel like my, my real eyebrows are at least covered up enough to where I can like face tune them out, you know? So a lot of these photos from the 20s, the, lip, the top lip looks much larger than the bottom. Them, but it doesn't look natural. It looks drawn that way. So I'm just gonna attempt that and the cupid's bow is real real curved. Oh Roger you are an idiot Okay, I'm really struggling to see 
Who would want this lip shape or this eyebrow shape? Look at the bag that the lip gloss has come in. Oh my gosh. 20s party, 20s. This whole video, I just keep hearing Rob Schneider say that in my head. Party, 20s, 20s party. Let's go with Secret Garden. Oh, yas, queen. This is so 20s. 20s party. I kind of think these little flicky outies were a mistake. It looked like they did it in the photo, but looking at it in person, I don't think they looked like that. It's very clowny, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm, see? Can we talk about this lip gloss, though? Oh, my gosh, it is so juicy. So I'm about to get started on the hair, but then I realized I should probably put on my costume first before the hair, you know what I mean? I got this flapper dress on Amazon. Look at it, look at the tassels. <laughs> Nicholas. What happened to your eyebrows? Hey, that's very 1920s. Zip me, Nicholas. It better freaking zip. Oh, it does. Zips with ease. Their upper lips stopped, like, right here. Do, 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 do. Well, gee, I... Hi. You nail them out, for sure. Some of them have these beautiful, like, intricate finger waves, which I've never been any good at doing. I learned how to do them in beauty school, and I always sucked at them. But then some of the girls have their like natural hair texture. And as I said in the beginning of this video, my natural texture kind of mimics a finger wave. So I'm just gonna like do a combination of both. Make like a faux finger wave with a curling wand. I've never tried it, but in my mind it's gonna work. I'm only gonna do this to like the top layer cause I just can't be bothered, you know? So we're gonna kind of bump it this way. <laughs> Then kind of bump it the other way. <laughs> then do it again this way. Uh, uh. Is it working? Not remotely. <sighs> I'm getting real hot, kids. Okay, well, that, that really did nothing. <laughs> I don't care. I'm just gonna kind of like put it in a bun and then pull on it, I guess. Me and my friend Missy did this many moons ago <laughs> when we made a video and I was trying to look like John Denver. I'm just gonna spray a little of the root spray on it, you know? Gee, golly. Golly, I, I'm a modern woman. I'm for sure getting a headache from this. Hideous, hideous, hideous. How would they say hideous in the 20s? Well, gee, it's hideous. The bracelet's too tight on my wrist because plus size women didn't exist back then. I'm just kidding. Golly, gee. <laughs> you can't even see the flappage. Goo! Oh, heck yeah, Nick was right, okay. <gasps> That's so cold. Who would want their lips to look like this? Golly. Yes. This is Soup's 20s. Well, ladies, that's all for me today. So be sure to return to my channel if you ever want to know how not to do things. Because even when we suck, we have fun. So thank you again for watching, and thank you again to Sigma for partnering with me on a portion of this video. That collection is beautiful. Probably their most beautiful one yet. I'm gonna go peel off my eyebrows. <laughs> See you in the next one. Bye. Did you guys know that Jeremy Renner is a musician. A big reason I feel like so obsessed with the 20s is because my late grandma Jerry was born in 1925 and she told me a lot of stories about, oh no. Go away from my video. Actually, you wanna show my friends your hair? No. Yeah, come here, show they them. Don't like it. Show them what I did. Don't judge. No, they won't. I did a good job, hello. Oh, snap. <laughs> like my Blonde. eyebrows. Blonde. Oh yeah, about as blonde as your eyebrows. I fixed Nick's hor I fixed Nick's horrible bleach job. As you can see, now he's white and shiny. White and shiny. And might I add, very delicious. <laughs> they say you're looking for some why is this stuck in my head now? Can we go back to Jeremy Renner? I wanna be loved by you. Wait, that's the wrong era, isn't it? Oh really I can't. Why did they all talk like that? Did they snap their fingers back then? Hi, I'm Sissy Starlet, here to introduce to you the best new way to expression. You need to smile, like, you need to be happy. I want to be dramatic. Yeah. Look at it. Look at it sparkle. Gee. <laughs>